am Michelle, the Children's Librarian of the Sheridan County Public Library System, and welcome to another edition of Bookmarks, where I share books that you are probably going to want to read, which is great because we have these books at the Sheridan County Public Library, or they might be available as a download off our website. This is a wonderful autobiography, The Tarantula in My Purse and Other 172 Other Wild Pets, written and illustrated by Jean Craighead George. Now, I'm, I'm not too crazy, but I don't know if I want a tarantula in my purse. But Jean Craighead George was a famous writer and she dealt with animals and so did her children. And it starts out like this. These are all the books she wrote. Um, the Firebug Connection, The Grizzly Bear with Golden Ears, Julie, Julia the Wolves, One Day in the Prairie, all sorts of wonderful books. And this is a picture of her with her dog and a cat. And it starts out like this. My children, Twig, Craig, and Luke, were the third generation of Craighead children who brought home wild birds and beasts to have and to contemplate. In their grandfather's day, and even in mine, wild animals were considered pets. Pests, I'm sorry. There was no need for permits to keep them as there is today. Hawks, owls, and falcons were shot. Coyotes and crows were poisoned. Songbird nests were raided for eggs. Anyone was free to bring home the earth's creature to nurture and think about, and bring them home we did. My father had started the tradition. He had lined his room with bottles of insects, raised snakes, fed treats to a friendly skunk in the meadow. When called upon to dress up in his hated lice-trimmed Lord Fortnoy suit to go to town with his mother, he teased his wild friend until she sprayed him, to his delight. When he arrived at the back door, his mother ordered him to stay home and not come inside the house at all. So he didn't. Eyes sparkling, he fished the creek that ran behind the backyard of his Pennsylvania home, caught frogs, ate dinner on the back porch, and stayed out into bedtime. How he loved that skunk. When Frank and John, my twin brothers, and I were young, Dad encouraged us that love of animals innate to all children. He found us walking sticks and assassin bugs, praying mantises, possum snakes, and owls. He taught us the plants they lived in and the environments where they could be found. To Dad, all birds, beasts, and plants were works of art. I must have learned this lesson early. My first pet was a baby turkey vulture, a carrion eater fit for witches and monsters and associated with graveyards and death. He was a work of art. I loved him on sight. There's a picture of him. Nod was about the size of a chicken and covered all but his neck, head, and feet with fluffy white down. His featherless head sung between protruding shoulders. He resembled a gargoyle on the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Dad had found him sitting in the middle of a footpath on the Potomac River bottomlands near our home in Washington, D.C. The vulture had greeted him with a rasping hiss. Seeing no parents anywhere, Dad put the gawky chick in his pack and brought him home to me. Dad was an entomologist, but he didn't just concentrate on insects alone. He studied the whole forest or entire ecosystem. Now, if you think having a turkey vulture in the house was cool, her mother did not. She finally said, I'm not going to have this turkey vulture stand watching me cook another minute. So my father called his friend, the director of the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., and they made arrangements to ship Nod to a zoo in Scotland that did not have an American turkey vulture. When he was taken away, I cried until Dad pointed out that I had come to know a truly remarkable creature, and indeed I had. And when I grew up, I went right on bringing wild animals home, and when I had children, they did too. In the 1970s, I was required to get a license to keep migratory birds and some of the mammals. That was an exciting event. And that's just the beginning of the tarantula in my purse and the other 172 other wild pets. Now, I put my bookmark here because I've read this book before, but it's worth a reread. And the bookmark tells the characters, I'm going to be back pretty soon because I want to know what else she brings home. And it also just marks your place so you know where to come back to. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope you check out this book, The Tarantula in My Purse by Jean Craig Handor, or read some of her other books like Julie and Julia the Wolves. Thanks so much for sharing me. I'll see you next time. Bye.